my helper for today and pass these out. I want every student to get one of those. So, today we are going to learn about something called beam spreading. We're going to do a little science experiment about beam spreading. going on. At the top of your page that you get, can you just make sure to write beam spreading in big letters at the top so you know what today is about. seconds to copy this down. I see Gilberto is finished copying. I see Fernando is finished copying. Thomas is quietly copying. Nayul is quietly copying. Emily is done copying and waiting quietly. Okay. So, I would like you guys to take out your whiteboards right now and your markers from under your desk. Whiteboards. Does everyone have their whiteboard out and a marker? Yeah. Oh, you don't have a marker? Who needs a marker? So, markers as well. So, everyone that needs that. Please raise your hand if you need a marker, and Miss Hope will give you a marker, and erasers are coming out when we want. You guys should have markers and boards with you, because we gave them to you at the beginning of class.
right, so on your board. You guys, I would like everyone's focus in three, two, one. Please just keep your hand silently raised until Miss Hope gets to you. On your board, if if a beam of light comes at an angle, so an angle is if it doesn't come straight in. So if it comes straight in, it goes like this. That's straight in. But if it comes at an angle, like this, is the, the shape the light makes on the board going to be bigger or smaller? Bigger. Write it on your board, guys. I don't want to remember not to call out. I want to see everyone write it on their board. And on, I'm going to give you guys five more seconds. On the count of three, I'm going to raise it up. I see Naiwul is already finished writing. Thomas is already finished writing. Do you have a question, Thomas? It is like, it's, it's similar to that. But the projector gets bigger because it's farther away. Luciano writing. I want nice big letters so I can see everyone. Gilberto is finished writing. All right, can everyone hold up their boards on the count of three? One, two, three. Edward, can I see your board? Perfect. Okay. So, if I were to draw two shapes here, this and this. Which one do you think is the light straight in, and which one do you think it is at an angle? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. This is R for the right one, and this is L for the left one. Just write a big R or L. I want you guys to write R or L for which one you think is the beam coming in at an angle and the shape it makes. I see Thomas writing on his board, I see Fernando writing his board, Nathaniel is done writing and waiting quietly. We're going to hold our boards up in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold your boards up. Let me see them. Good. I see lots of R's. Okay. I see a bunch of R's. Yahira, can you tell me why you R? R is the right one. If it comes in at an angle, why is it going to be this shape rather than this shape? Because what? Because it's the bigger one, right? When a beam comes, a light beam comes in at an angle, it gets bigger. And we'll see this later in the demonstration. So, do you guys think that this could happen anywhere in the real world? Yeah. Marco. That's a one. Please raise your hand. Um, could you raise your hand and share with us where you think that happened, though? Marco. Yeah. Where? Mm. With a flashlight. With a flashlight. Can anyone else think of an example? Nathaniel, can you stand up and share your example with the class? I want everyone's eyes on Nathaniel. What? No. Come on. You volunteered. Why not? Why not? Forgot your thing? Sure. Okay. Gilberto, can you hold on? Stand up. I want everyone's eyes on you. Come on. This is good. You should be proud of a good answer. Okay. So everyone's eyes on Gilberto. Raphael, can I have eyes on Gilberto? So what's an example you can think of? The sun. The sun. That a reflection. Not exactly a reflection. A reflection could happen, but the sun, he's on the right track. And I want to tell you exactly what we're going to learn about when beam spreading happens. So, beam spreading happens between the sun and the earth. And, if you guys could flip over your worksheets on the back, right at the top there's a picture of the sun and the earth. Can you guys just put your whiteboards, markers, and erasers to the corner of your desk right now and go back to your worksheet, please? I see Thomas is putting his whiteboard away. Tiana has her whiteboard away and is already looking at our worksheet. Steven's put his whiteboard away. I will. Um, 
So, can everyone flip to the back. Uh, on the back, there is a picture. It has the Earth like this, and the Sun with beams coming in. 